on a two pointers late. Uh, how did it evolve like that? Um, well, for most of the game, or well, at least in the first half, they're playing a lot of two three zone and. Uh, we were able to just you know just make a couple of shots here and there and kind of um, I think it took it out took them out of rhythm on defense. I think they went to man in the second half, and that really allowed our, uh, our offense to get going, which is probably why we got uh, a lot more two point baskets in the second half. Andre, how important is it for you to stay in the game? Yeah, well, Obviously, your core leadership is very helpful. Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty important, but um, I was glad my guys got out there and uh, they stuck to the game plan and they uh, they got it done for me. They got, they made a lot of key points, uh, a lot of key baskets. They got a lot of stops tonight, so I'm just glad uh, the young guys got to get in and uh, really do some things tonight. So Andre, what do you got to do to start games quicker? Because it'll work against the Hamptons of the world, but we got Maryland coming up on Friday. Yeah, we definitely we definitely got to um, get going earlier in the game. Uh, I think today. Two three kind of the the one two the one two two and the two three kind of uh, forced us to shoot a couple threes uh, early. That kind of got us out of rhythm. So I think we just got to move hard at the beginning of the game, get stops, try to get in transition and run a little bit so we can get some easy ones. What's your role, Chandra, in in just kind of trying to get off to quicker starts? And what do you feel like you have to provide that for the team? Uh, I, def I definitely I definitely got to show my energy. Uh, I definitely got to uh, off rebounds really start to push it. Uh, a lot faster than what I've been doing. So I'll definitely look at film and see uh, ways that I can uh, get us started a little quicker. Marshall, you're one of the bigger guys, and obviously you guys are going to play big this, this weekend. Uh, you look forward a little bit to Maryland and, and Boston College, Kansas State. Um, yeah, definitely. I think right now, I think we're just excited for another opportunity to play against um, you know some really good some really good teams and. Uh, you know, I think we're going to be ready, and I think we're going to be hungry, and um, I think we're going to go out there and we're going to match the physicality of the teams that we play, and uh, we're going to play well. What did you learn? Four-game homestand here to start the year. Either of you guys, what did you learn about the Spiders? Yeah. Um, I think we showed some toughness. We've been in a couple close games. Um, the, the new guys bring a lot of grit to the team. Uh, Buck really getting in there, uh, rebounding. Julie is really sticking his nose in there a lot this year. Uh, even Nick getting a lot of rebounds this year. So I think we got a lot of uh, grit and toughness, and uh, that really can start to translate into uh, wins. Marshall, any uh -oh. thoughts on that subject? Just uh, what these spiders look like after four games? Um, I don't think they look bad at all. Uh, like like Chandra said, they're really just waiting for the younger guys, you know, to get up to par and, uh, you know, Ourselves, our seniors, our seniors are you know trying to make sure that we're doing the best we can as being leaders, being talkers on the floor, and as being able to produce and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I think the team has done well. I think we kind of um, understand a little bit better what our roles are, and uh, I just think that we um, we're just better as a team right now. So, three is your specialty. Uh, you're going to play more power type teams. But I wonder if that could be a strength uh, shooting outside against some of these bigger, stronger teams. Right, yeah. Um, I mean, when you just we just talk about that, I just think about back when I uh, played at Virginia Tech, and obviously I have an idea like the type of team and stuff like that, like the Marylands of the world, the Boston Colleges of the world, and um, it's just about just playing in our game and playing within ourselves and just going out and executing. And uh, I think things will just show up throughout the game. Uh, apologies if this has already been covered, but you more than doubled your shooting percentage in the second half. It was twenty six point nine in the first half, sixty one point five in the second half. Is just stepping up and making the open shots, or were you doing something different? It was more about us being aggressive, running our sets. Um, second half, they went zone for the whole for whole first half. Second half, they went man. So we really wanted to get get the ball moving, get into our stuff. And once we get into our stuff, people get rhythm shots and uh, layups and more things that we're used to seeing other than just standing out there shooting threes or just tough shots in zone. So we really, we really got going uh, offensively, and the percentage shows it. When you came out and saw Maine, were you like, thank you? <laughs> yeah, I always like man. <laughs> Sean, this is one of your last chances to play of, you know, some of these Power 5 schools when you, you got this big tournament coming up as a senior. I mean, how much do you relish the opportunity to play the Giant Slayer, you know, something Richmond's done in, in the past? Oh, yeah, um, I really love it. Uh, you couldn't ask for nothing better to go up there, be the underdog, people not uh, expecting you to do anything. And uh, when you go out there and play well, it's, it's really a good feeling uh, internally. So I just I just can't wait. Like, I love it. I can't wait. Um, I'm ready. You guys have a home court advantage at Barclays Center? I mean, it's like uh, we, should, right? we should, right? We should, right? The head coach is, uh, has Richmond ties, so we should have home court. We're probably not. <laughs>